Hello once again this is Brother Teacher. I would like to share with you a smoothie that I make every single morning virtually and consume for good optimal health. And it also has aided me in keeping my weight to a certain place. Not that I have ever struggled with uh, being overweight or obesity. I've never had that issue but I've always had the potential to gain weight and I have been heavier than I would have desired over the years and it was just as simple as modifying or changing my diet and it depended very much upon what I was going through during that period period of time in my life okay so what I want to do is give this to you first from me to you everything that tastes good it's not necessarily good for you and oftentimes those things that are not as appealing to your taste buds are the things are the very things that you should be consuming let your brain wrap around that or that wrap around your brain so now what do I mean what I mean is this if you're serious about your health and I don't want to say very, very, very serious and, and, you know, use the superlatives and so forth. Extreme exaggerations, hyperboles, uh, and be too redundant. I just want to say it one time, if I can, if you're serious about your health, ladies and gentlemen. And you want to have the best quality of health. Think on these things. Don't make it complicated because it's not good health great health is simple it really is it is we the people that make it complicated because really most people don't really want good health or they want good health and they want to maintain the bad habits as well can't do both of them sorry sorry to be the bearer of the bad news so now here we go if you have a blender at home or a bullet machine for mixing your vegetables and your fruits that's a plus if you don't you may want to invest in one okay uh, I have what is a bullet is about 16 ounces in capacity in terms of liquid or volume and that is what I use every morning now what you want to do you want to have approximately 12 to 16 ounces of liquid after you have completed your smoothie so you can adjust the water to your smoothie composition accordingly what I start out doing first in the bullet and I'm going to do this at home uh, subsequent to this right after this video I'm going to post it I'm gonna let you see me making this drink so uh, I'm going to have the bullet in front of you or the container and I'm going to put half of the container full of water and that is what I advise you to do so that your powder if you're using powder it doesn't not stick to the container itself and you don't have to worry about going in trying to scrape it off the walls of the container so put your water into the container half full first distilled reverse osmosis or some form of purified water let's do that first okay now once you have your water in this is what I use chlorella cracked or cell broken and that just simply means that it has been broken down to the point where your body can recognize it and your body can utilize it and your body can assimilate it by going into your system on a cellular level please do a little research behind me your own due diligence so that you're convinced for yourself that what I'm telling you is the truth it is I can tell you it's the truth but you have to believe it not simply because I said it okay now the benefit of chlorella and I have a few here first of all it's nutrient dense 
has a ton of nutrition in it. It is a superfood. You have minerals, you have chlorophyll, up to 3% chlorophyll, which is larger than most animal, excuse me, most plant life on the planet. It has amino acids, essential fatty acids, and it also removes, it is a detoxer, it removes heavy metals and even radiation from your body. So, if you've had to have radiation because of cancer issues, or you know someone who has chlorella, is your go-to herb all right it improves also metabolism and weight loss excuse me about the focus on this camera is acting sort of funny but anyway how much of this do you want to place in your container one teaspoon one teaspoon of chlorella all right the next one is going to be spirulina also pronounced spirulina under a microscope it looks like little spirals that's where it got its name spirulina and this is a cyanobacteria very similar to the first one that I just mentioned to you the chlorella chlorella is a true back not bacteria but it is a true blue green algae okay it's been around since the beginning of this planet it's never been altered okay spirulina it's good for heavy metal detoxification as well. It helps to promote good eye health and it helps to prevent dementia, all forms, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and so on. Okay? It also has nutritional density as well. Now, spirulina or spirulina, you want a teaspoon of that added to your drink. So you have a teaspoon of chlorella and a teaspoon of spirulina or spirulina in your drink so far and the next one is going going to be from the magnificent mighty moringa tree the moringa powder this is what I use moringa now moringa helps to reduce inflammation helps to protect the liver through detoxification helps reduce high blood pressure has 10 times more vitamin C than oranges and four times more calcium than so-called milk and it has more iron than spinach. You want a teaspoon of this as well. The next thing will be magnesium citrate. You have to have magnesium in your body. It is important for good heart health. This is your relaxing mineral it helps everything relax now I could talk about this but I'm gonna read it from my little brief notes here magnesium helps to increase your energy number one it is a calming uh, and relaxing aid to the body if you have stress if you're going through some emotional stress you may want to consider putting some magnesium in your diet if you don't have sufficient or adequate amounts. It helps with constipation. A lot of times I've told people over the years, if you can't have a good bowel movement and you're constipated, first thing I would recommend would be prune juice. Another thing that you can use for constipation would be a teaspoon to a tablespoon of baking soda which is bicarbonate of soda and warm water that'll help you go as well anything with magnesium such as Epsom salts yes you can ingest Epsom salts a teaspoon to a tablespoon and about 8 to 12 ounces of water you're gonna go to the bathroom because the magnesium is going to help that dietary tract or that those intestines to relax and push it on out okay now it also helps to relieve muscle cramps, aches, and soreness before and after exercise and just in general. And it helps you to absorb calcium. You need it to absorb calcium. Okay? And it prevents migraines and it helps to normalize your blood pressure. Magnesium citrate. It's white in color. Okay? So you want a teaspoon of this as well. 
just to get used to it, let's say a half a teaspoon to a full teaspoon. You make the decision. Now, one of these that I'm very fond of doesn't have the greatest taste in the world. Many of you are familiar with it from your Indian cuisine. Uh, you see it in curry, uh, in Indian uh, dishes, uh, restaurants. They use this all of the time when they're making their foods. And that's none other than turmeric. Some pronounce it turmeric, but it's turmeric. Turmeric is a spice that is very good for inflammation. I use it for my arthritis and it's never done me an injustice. And I am a true believer in turmeric or turmeric. Now, in order for it to absorb better into your body and so that your liver doesn't reject it, you may want to take a pinch of black pepper. Yes, a pinch, just a pinch. When I say pinch, I mean literally a pinch. That, that's all it takes to aid the turmeric in absorption. Or you can take some form of fatty uh, substance such as avocado or even coconut coconut oil if you want a fat to help absorb the turmeric into your system as well now black pepper just FYI is also good for killing cancer cells again I may do this again but I want to apologize for the uh, camera I don't know if it's the lighting in the room right now but it's fading in and out a little bit but it's okay the message is still here and the last thing that I want to mention is one of my favorites as well as cayenne pepper now cayenne pepper helps to break down mucus excess mucus your body's supposed to have mucus to protect and line the organs and various other aspects of the body internally but too much mucus can be detrimental to us so when we want to break down some of the excess mucus especially associated with a cold or the flu and so forth cayenne pepper is the go-to herb now cayenne pepper is also good for circulation helps to push the blood and you don't want your blood to be stagnant and slow cayenne pepper will help to thin out the blood a little bit and it's going to help push the blood cayenne pepper is also good for arthritic inflammation just like turmeric or turmeric all right it also helps to lower and normalize your blood pressure and it helps to prevent heart attacks cayenne now the amount of cayenne that I typically would put in my smoothie would be about a half a teaspoon you could put a whole teaspoon some people do a tablespoon but at least a half a teaspoon now when you go to the bathroom you're gonna feel some heat when you uh, pass your waist don't be alarmed. That's just simply the cayenne. It lets you know that the active ingredient, the capsaicin, is doing its job. It's really that simple. So now, let's go back over the list. We said chlorella, one teaspoon. Spirulina, one teaspoon. Moringa, one teaspoon. Magnesium citrate, one teaspoon or half a teaspoon to a full teaspoon you make the decision we said cayenne uh, half a teaspoon we said turmeric or turmeric one teaspoon and a dash of black pepper for absorption now once you have placed these in your water your half a cup or container of water you can finish topping it off with water put the lid on and mix it up and you can sip on it. You can sip on it for a few minutes until it's gone or you can drink half of it come back in the middle of the day drink the rest of it. It's up to you. But this is what I drink every single day virtually unless I'm really busy and I miss a day or two but no less than five days I drink this. Now I usually make up for it uh, later on in the day with another type of smoothie. So I want to say this to you. I weigh, as I'm sitting here speaking to you, 158 pounds wet. 158. That's how much I weigh. I'm 5'9 and a half. And I weigh 158 pounds. About two and a half years ago, I was weighing about 180. It's not a sick weight, 
it is because going through the process I began to wean myself from eating so many meals per day and I eat virtually one meal notwithstanding the drink I, I drink the smoothie I may have a second smoothie or a half a smoothie before I go to bed I never eat a heavy meal before bed because that's where you're supposed to be repairing your body your body's repairing itself while you're asleep you eat when you're up and moving around not right before you go to bed your stomach is not supposed to be full of food to include fruit some people say well I can just eat a little fruit and go to bed no no you can't unless you want to gain weight that sugar fructose from your fruit is going to turn to fat because it's not being burned when you eat your fruit it should be when you're up and moving around active so that it can be burned off and cools your body down that's what fruit is for okay and energy so I hope that this video uh, has reached the ears of those who will utilize some of the pointers and or principles that I'm uh, bringing across these airwaves so to speak I hope it's of value to you and I hope you use it today and that you take some time out for you and your life and that you want to be here for many many more years to come and I sincerely hope that you will live as long as you possibly can on this beautiful planet that you would do the same for your family that you would pass information like this along to your family and if they don't follow it immediately they may eventually and if they don't that doesn't mean that you stop doing it because a lot of times we lead by example this is brother teacher stay healthy stay well and Yahweh loves you and you know I love you